everybody, this is Flavio Romeo, and on this episode of the Towncast, Garrett Bedrin takes us into the hedges at Hawthorne uh, of the Bedrin organization. He's going to give us an entire tour of the complete facility so you get a chance to see what's going on inside and out. All right, enjoy the episode, everybody. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting and dying to see what's happening at the hedges. I've got Garrett Bedram, who has been has been instrumental in putting all of this together. Uh, the Bedram organization right here in Glen Rock, and and the hedges of Hawthorne right here in Hawthorne. He's going to take us on a little tour, and we're also we're also happy to see Sarah. Sarah is from Vesta, an organization that specializes in residential marketing. Is that the term? Absolutely. She helps uh, residential developers uh, bring forward beautiful projects for communities. So what you're going to see inside, if you don't like it, you can blame Sarah. It's all her fault. It's all her fault. So, so Garrett was nice enough yeah. to, to uh, open up the doors so that we can all take a sneak peek of what's happening. Absolutely. And it looks like it's going to open up somewhere in March. Yeah, I think, I think around the first week of March, people will be uh, having the opportunity to have resident move-ins at that time. And listen, if you guys, have, for anybody that's interested, your parents, your relatives, your siblings, whoever it is, your friends. If you're interested, there's a waiting list of over 2,000 people. Incredible. So if you guys are interested at all in this space, and we're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna take a look at this, we're gonna show you quickly Planet Fitness that's opening up here, and then we're gonna show you Cube Storage. Cube Smart, yeah. Cube Smart, we'll Cube Smart. And that's the train, did you hear the train? And we hear the train. That's, that's the New York, walk to New York City, basically, you walk to the train. And you know what, if you, if you love our hometown song, written by Brendan Anthony, there's always a railroad running through it. All right, so he's gonna give us a quick tour inside. You Let's ready? Let's do it. Now, you said people were dying to know. I hope nobody died, really died to know. Li yeah, figuratively <laughs> okay, speaking. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if they are, then just take them good. off the I, list. I, I, just, they're I, off the list. Dead people just don't pay rent. So. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna give us a quick tour. All right, Let's stand go. by everybody. Let's go. Let's go check inside. All right, so we, we came right inside, right inside the doors. And just as soon as you walk in, so, so this space is designed for what? So everything you're going to see at Hedges is with the concept of having a boutique hotel. We want people to feel like they're really at a place that they've arrived at. Almost like a concierge kind of Absolutely. Feel. So you have a small area for luggage carts, so if you need some help moving some stuff in or packages or whatnot. Oh, nice. And this is a secure vestibule area. So everything is locked, cameras, Bluetooth technology to your phone. So let's come on in. Yeah. Let's take a look. Who was the idea of doing like the, the luggage cart and the whole little concierge thing? Probably Sarah. Huh? Sarah, I knew it. Well, I knew no, it was I think you. I find that, you know, at the end of the day, this is where people live and they have stuff that they bring from their car and yeah. they need to bring it up to their apartment. And so, is that, com is that com I mean, I, I haven't lived in an apartment. You as well. It's very common. It's a, it is a common yes, thing, yes, like yes, in apartments yes. that you see. Yes. yes. Okay. So when you walk into the space, you're immediately going to be hit with a ton of natural light and beautiful finishes. So there's a really cool lighting fixture that's coming here. This is the main lobby. And this is going to be a curved wall that has a built-in banquette. So you could sit here. Uh, with a little table and you have your laptop oh, really? and uh, this is and if you're waiting for somebody yeah, waiting, you're waiting for, for an Uber or sure. a ride or whatever this nice. is gonna, gonna actually have greenery on here we're still trying to figure out if that's gonna be real living green wall or, or fake green wall um, but it's funny you mentioned Uber I want to show you something that's really unique obviously you have the elevators but right here is gonna be a massive transit board. So it's a digital monitor that will actually tell oh, you the trains the trains the Ubers the lifts uh, the bus schedule, it's tied into a service that we have oh, that's awesome. that can help people understand transit. Because again, this is a transit-oriented development. We're a quarter mile from the Hawthorne train yeah, station. Yeah, you can walk to the train station. Absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. That's a great idea. Yep. And as you come into the main space, this is the main amenity area. So this will be the office for the manager. But they will have a concierge desk in front, like a boutique hotel. Okay. Again, very transparent, very open. We want everyone to be able to see everybody. How can we help you, right? Nice. You know, people live here, they expect to um, you know, be taken care of and, and, and uh, get 
to know you, and so we want to make sure that the staff is out in front. Right. Really, so, really so any questions you have about events happening in town or whatever it is, they can talk to this guy. Absolutely. All right. Probably a gal. Or a gal. Yeah. This is actually a wine tasting room. Okay. Really. So we've come up with a really cool concept. We felt when you leave a large home, a residence, um, and you go into an apartment, right? You don't necessarily always want to eat in your apartment. You want to eat amongst your friends and go out to dinner. So we try to create that feeling here inside Hedges. So there's actually built-in wine lockers, like a steakhouse would have, where you could okay. store your spirits or your wine. So if you if you live here, you can have your own locker. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And then there's a gorgeous table. It's just an incredible wood table, beautiful lighting, and then a huge TV that is part of a conference system. So if you wanted to have a meeting here during the day, take your laptop and work here, have a private dinner at night, it's all fully set up to have that type of experience right well, at home. And the nice thing is that, you know, for, for so many people that are working from home, me included, uh, to be able to just get out of your apartment, because oftentimes I, I just want to get out. I'll, I'll go to Starbucks, I'll go somewhere, just to yep. be able to work outside of my, you know, Absolutely. my home. So that's cool that you have this here, so they could just come down here and use it anytime. Absolutely, we're really excited about it. So, let me, so this is something that you've definitely not seen in an apartment complex before. And we decided that we wanted to put in a very small little personal salon space. So this is actually, some of us may not know, but my partner and I, Michael, my cousin, are involved in another hair salon business. And so we felt like if you lived in a building like this and you wanted to maybe get a blowout before you went out for dinner, or maybe you wanted to have a stretching session or a massage session, we wanted to have a small kind of wellness space that you could use. Um, so this space will actually be fitted with um, cabinetry and sinks for for hair salon. Uh, oh. Yeah, really interesting space. This, this is a small fitness center. Um, obviously, with Planet Fitness having over fourteen thousand square feet and everything under the sun, locker rooms, cardio, thirty minute workout. We decided that we wanted to offer um, something more boutique, something small. So it's going to have a treadmill, uh, a bike. Um, I think we did a rower. And then we have this great functional squat machine with kettlebells. And nice. then there's also a big mirror kind of, um, it's a class-based system where you look at it and you pull, am I, am I describing it correctly? Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know uh -huh. what exactly it's called. She's taking notes, just but to make sure you get it right. It's, meant, you know, it's, it's a small studio for more private kind of it's, workouts. It, it, it's um, like a hotel. I mean, it exactly. really is like you don't a hotel. You don't have to leave. You don't yeah. have to leave the, the premises. Absolutely. So it's going to look beautiful. The ceiling is just an incredible slat wall ceiling. The lighting is, is awesome. Um, so we wanted to make sure that was offered. And then there's two two private restrooms down here, obviously, if you're eating or using the... So you don't even have to go back to upstairs go back to, your to your own apartment. apartment. Right. We did two restrooms. I love that yeah. it's all just in the building. Absolutely. It's all right here. Yeah. We're kind of in the belly of the property, I would say. Like this is the main amenity space, right? The common area that um, a resident will be able to use here. And when you're in the space, if you want to show the visual, I mean, this really is everything that's coming in here. That's the fireplace. It's a beautiful floating fireplace. Um, that's the furniture that we've wow. ordered. I mean, it's gorgeous furniture. That's that's it. That's the real stuff. This that's, is it. That's the chairs. The, the, so this the so this right here, this little doorway here, is yeah, gonna be right here. That's that's, that's, that's right here. Door. So that's that's called a nano door. We call it, and that actually opens all the way for indoor outdoor living. Okay. Um, and I can show you how that works. No way! Okay, look at this. this whole thing opens? Yeah. Come on! Yeah, it goes all the way. And so I wanted to be able to have indoor outdoor oh, living. This is so, so summertime. This yeah. is like the place to be. Absolutely. So people can hang out out here as well? Absolutely. This is a fire table, so like a fire pit. All right. Wow. And this, there's going to be a lot more landscaping that comes in here. It grows up for privacy. Yeah. And you could be sitting on these, on these walls. And uh, we have a second grill station. Here. The grill's here too. So yeah, let's take a look. And, and guys, listen, this is right across the street from the Hawthorne pool. Yeah. So you go to the pool, you swim, you do everything you're doing, then you come here, you have a little barbecue, you have it all to yourself. This is great. And then you can just dine outside or go inside, yeah. wherever you want to do I it. I think we're going to do a small table here. Um, and what we thought was that even if you didn't, like, let's say you were grilling here, and you didn't know those people down there, you could you could eat over here if you wanted to have some privacy. Right, right, right. So that's right. why we separated it. But it's nice that you have a community area, yep. so if you guys want to hang out. Absolutely. Well, and, and you know, an apartment building like this, a lot of apartments, you get to know everybody pretty quickly, and you develop that sense of community. Absolutely. So 
here in the corner is kind of a kitchen space. And this window uh, just got installed, I think today, is a pass-through window. So it opens kind of like a drive-through. And then the grills are right outside. So you can be grilling your you know, hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, whatever you like, maybe veggie burgers. So have, who would have access to these grills? All the residents. Any, yeah. any resident. There's four uh, luxury grills that are here to use. These are the same grills I put in my own house. And um, the residents can grill their dinner and then pass it right through and sit down and eat. So if people are just chilling in here, they can, they can grill out, even if it's in the wintertime, they could dr grill Absolutely. out there, put the food in. This is so cool. Yeah. It's really what nice. A great idea. It's really nice to offer. Again, a had to be a Sarah area. idea. Like a Sarah's all proud. Oh, so. <laughs> yep. All right, so right inside from the barbecue area, we've got this, but tell me about this space. So we actually have four, what I would call Zoom rooms or work from home rooms. Oh. And um, obviously this has become a lot more prevalent and needed during the COVID pandemic, but sure. even before this was important to us. So um, these are little private office spaces that'll have a beautiful glass door. You can come in here with your laptop, sit down for a few hours, take a private phone call, do some work. Um, again, oh, the idea of getting out of your apartment you don't need to go rent office space. We, we have it here for you at Hedgehog. Well, and especially if you have, if you have, for me, it's a dog, but if you have children and you've got to make a Zoom, you know, you're going to be on a very right. important Zoom call. You need call. an hour break, right. For me, it's a dog. I get on the Zoom call. I've got to mute the mic because my dog inevitably starts barking at the mailman. But to be able to come down, so what would they do? Just reserve it and say, hey, I need this room at this day, at this hour? Absolutely. Through the management, you can, you can do that. And I'm sure there'll be time. The guy that's going to be sitting over there. Busier than others. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. What a great idea. And nice and, All right, so tell me about this okay. space. Okay, so, so real quick, when you live in an apartment, um, if you are anything like my family, you know there's lots of Amazon packages of Amazon coming. Boxes. I'm sorry, my wife's going to kill me, but she probably won't even watch this. Um, so we had to come up with a system that could accommodate that. So we have a secure package locker system in here, and um, it'll, it'll be in the room with the mailboxes. This is the mailroom. The mailman has access from the exterior as well. And basically all packages will go into these secure lockers and it'll then email or text you when you get a package. And you'll get a code and you'll know. Oh, really? okay, so you'll get, you'll get a notification yeah, a saying, hey, your, your is package arrived. Number 14, right? Um, and so you, when you come home, you can pick up your package securely. So it's not left in the hallway. Right, right, right. Additionally, we're going to have a refrigerator for food delivery. So if you have medicine, uh, or you, or maybe your senior or citizen, Whole Foods, if you're and, you, have, Whole right, Foods and you want them to deliver wow. food, they can put it in the refrigerator for you. Um, and then we also built an extra closet, which definitely is a Sarah thing and Christina, the overflow closet for the holidays. Some people make it bigger, bigger boxes. <laughs> we need even more space. So yeah, never, yeah, enough yeah. Storage. never enough storage in, yeah. in an apartment. And this is just a nice safe place that you know that will be available. You don't have to worry about it being left inside, you know, outside your apartment and stolen by accident. That's so awesome. Wow, so much thought. Yep. Okay. So you mentioned you have a dog. We yes. want you to know dogs are welcome here. We it's love a, so dogs. So it is pet friendly. It is pet friendly. There will be certain size and weight and of breed course, restrictions. Yeah, like every place. Because it's, it's an apartment, but I have two Cavaliers. I love my dogs. And so we want to make sure all the dogs get beautiful bath time here. So this what? will be a, a, a kind of dog, um, bathtub, wash, pet it's wash like station. Own, their own spa. Their <laughs> little pet spa, exactly. It's literally what we're calling it. It's, it's a, a pet spa. spa. That yeah. is so great. There's not much light in here, so it's hard to see. Yeah, yeah, but this, so they'll have their, oh, you can bring your dog down here, give yep. it a bath, give it a shower, Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. And then this is the bike storage room. So we, we envisioned a lot of people would bike to the train in New oh, York. Yeah. And so, you know, again, thinking about space, keeping your bike in your apartment, A, is an issue for space but also there's some issues with like an e-bike so it's better to leave a bike in here sure lock it up and you go right out the front entrance you don't have to go through the middle which is obviously the it just goes right out right out yeah the front nice yeah so we're excited i should also mention outside we didn't do a tour on one of the corners of the property we have two dog parks so oh, we really? have a dog park for little dogs and we have a dog park for big dogs so we separate them for safety um, that's a great way to meet a new friend, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so great. I love that. All right, so this is one of them? Yeah, so this is a unit I want to show you. This is really interesting because it's something that is really new. And you, again, you probably haven't seen this around because it's, it's a different concept. But this is actually called a live-work unit. You can legally live here and have your business here. Really? So if you're a you know, sole proprietor. So zone commercial? I mean, yeah, it's, zone it, it's allowed to be, for instance, like an artist or a tax prep person, um, 
maybe uh, a, a therapist would be perfect, actually. Wow. Could you, you put know? a little shingle out front or a little sign out front, too? Sure. I don't know about a shingle, but probably a little, yeah, yeah, a little, little sign, sign on you know, something small. Shingle, but here. You know, I'm, I'm dating myself, shingles. You actually have a separate door here. You have, oh, you, you, okay. you have an exterior entrance, and this is what's different. Um, I think we only have four or five of these in the whole property, but basically that door, um, here, I'll show you. Yeah. This way, your customer doesn't have to go through the whole apartment complex. Okay, so if you're you. if you're if you're an attorney or you're yeah. a tax prep guy, you pull up here and you yep. just pull right into and you yep. just walk right into the uh, the unit. Also, just for security, you know, your customer shouldn't be going through the middle of the building not knowing where they're going. Yeah, absolutely. they're going to come and visit you right here privately. So, yeah, so we're, you can we're put excited a little about sign it. out yeah, there so people know sign. where you're going. Yeah, okay. They park right here in front. We're excited about it. So, and would you call it a work live live work live work? Yeah, live yep. should be first before work, right? <laughs> Always. And so, you know, for me, I thought if you're an up-and-coming business entrepreneur, um, you know, you can move in here, right? And instead of affording both an office and an apartment, you kind of have, you know, the same the here. Best of both worlds, yeah. Or maybe you have an intern or someone that is, um, you know, you can't afford to pay them a full salary and, and you say to them, you know what, we're going to pay you half a salary, but you can live here for free. Oh, you well. know, so there's a lot of different things you could do. Uh, this could be a showroom. This could be an office. There's a lot of things. So, you could do. so even if someone just wanted it as an office, yeah, absolutely. they could do that. It's zoned for for that. Yep. So you got, you've got this, which would be a bedroom or conference room, right? That was just. And you got the closet space. I love what you guys did with the closets. Yeah, this is a barn out. door. I love the barn doors. Yeah. That's so great. These are the barn doors, nice uh, hardware. Now, do all the apartments have that, that kind of uh, barn door? I think most of them have a barn door. Not in every closet. Some of the two bedrooms may have one's, one's a barn door and one may be a swing door. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's a lot of barn doors in the property. So this would be the conference room slash bedroom. Then you've got the bathroom, you've got a shower. Yeah, what we did here was the bathroom has access from the hallway because, again, if you have a customer coming, you don't want them to walk through your bedroom. Right. Oh, so we point. kept the... Um, the tub part private with a pocket. Oh, you got a, yeah, you got a separate door. That's great. And then this, so is, this is this could be your office bathroom. Right. It could be like the powder room. Yeah. For the business. Sure. Absolutely. Love and that. then you know, same space. You have a washer dryer in in here in the little closet. Let me take you into a great idea. Another apartment that has more lights on. I could show you more features. Come on in. And we have the heat, so that's nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, really. So, are all the rooms going to have, are all the apartments going to have stainless every, steel? Every appliances? apartment comes with a kitchen. <laughs> and they're all stainless steel. It's all yeah, this is, this is what the kitchens are going to look like. We went with a two tone uh, color palette. So, you have a really pretty uh, wood grain on the bottom with a um, kind of very thin reveal draw with a nice soft close, right? And by the way, for you guys that love to cook, it's got to be gas. I mean, it is gas. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, I'm a gas guy. I have you know friends that have electric, and it's just and yeah. I love that spot. It's all uh, Samsung, um, you know, state of the art uh, appliance package, stainless steel, a little Beautiful. bit of black. Uh, this one's missing a fridge, but um, has a water cooler. <laughs> yeah. But you we'll got a nice uh, French door fridge. I'll show you in a different. You also have a little bit of wine storage here. Yeah, I like that. That's and nice. Above cabinet storage. We we tried to find every little nook and cranny, uh, because again, when you live in an apartment, especially if you're coming from a home, you really need storage. Storage, a lot of storage. Right. I love the size of the closet too. That's yeah, nice. that's a really beautiful. Uh, there's your barn door. Uh, you've got a built-in front closet, custom closets. Oh, so you're gonna have that in there as well. Every apartment will have will have custom closets. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, a couple other features to pull out. Uh, excuse me to point out. We've got some floating shelves for decorations or for plates. Uh, we've got a beautiful upgraded sink here, and I think it even turns off. There's some way Patrick knows how to do it where where you can. Uh, Figure out a, it's touchless somehow. Just, just not like that. Just I don't know how to do it. I haven't I haven't figured it out yet. I can't live here. Dishwasher. Um, obviously dishwasher. And uh, you know, some some of the units are going to be islands. So would this and this some idea, peninsula. this would this be a two bedroom? This is a two bedroom. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's a two bedroom. That be one unit. of the bedrooms there. That would be the primary bedroom. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Let's, can we? Let in? me just point one more thing out here. Nine foot ceilings yeah, and nice great. LED lighting. That's and great. big, big windows. So all apartments feel nice and airy, nice and well lit. And you know, I gotta tell you guys, we're in the apartment, we're right on Wagwar Road, I don't hear any traffic. It's quiet right now. 
Yeah. Yeah. We I mean, like and you see the cars that are passing. Doors. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. Yeah. Here. So this is one of the bedrooms. Yep. Yeah, this is the primary. <clears throat> primary Look at bedroom. This. Hold on. Let me close that door. I think it'll be a better reveal if I do it differently. All right. Do it differently. All right, guys. Right, back, disregard yeah. what you just saw. Just pretend we this was edited. That's okay. Right. So this is the this is the master primary bedroom. Yeah. So this is the primary bedroom, and we've got the barn door here. Love it. You're gonna get the hardware, of course. But I wanted a place that my wife would definitely want to live too. <laughs> and uh, so we gave you a oh, really yeah. Wow. House. This is nice. Look at that. This is all. Is this all? This is all. Is this California. California closet. One of those. Exactly. Yeah. It's not that company. One of those designs. But it's the though. same. Yeah. Absolutely. Same this was Custom design. Yep. Just for us. Oh, that's beautiful. We wanted something that we really felt like a couple would come in here and say, "Now I'm home." Yeah. You know. Now my, I'm, my shoes, my bags. One person gets this space, yeah. and then the other person gets everything else. Right. <laughs> That's it, the way it works in my house. Probably me and you, Flav, we'd probably have to share the front, and then, you know, our I get wives the front, would probably get the, I get the front closet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's exciting. And then, again, not everything's perfectly cleaned up, but I wanted to show you what the bathroom oh, will gorgeous. look like. We've got the frameless glass. Beautiful. Shower, which is really nice. I should probably put the toilet seat down. I don't know who was in here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a demo. This is still a construction site, everybody. <laughs> um, again, we matched the kitchen, the two-tone. Uh, the low profile, plenty of storage, yeah. and um, I love these low clothes. That's cool. Yeah, just a really nice, well lit, good ceiling. Yeah, just I, I, I love condo the, quality. The, the attention to the details, the small details. Mm -hmm. Like you don't realize it until you have like a little slow, slow close cabinet, which is annoying when you, you know, slam it shut. Yep. Big windows, and I will show you the second bedroom, maybe maybe the kids' bedroom, yeah, or your friends, or you have a. Guests, sure. Guests coming home to visit. So you have the bedroom with the big lighting again, and I think the really unique feature here is that you wouldn't typically see such a big walk-in closet. No, for it's a not a guest bedroom. bedroom. Guest no, bedroom. not at all. So we always say guests get the best, right? Yeah, <laughs> they do um, here. So they have a modified version of the primary closet, yeah. a little bit different, but still custom. Yeah, a lot of in. space. I mean, you could even you could put dressers in there. It's beautiful. Whatever you want, the light. And, and there's also another bathroom. Yeah. Let me show you this. And here's so here thing. you've got a really large oversized vanity with great storage. Um, the fan just came up a little too loud. But I'm not sure which one it is. Well, and and then you have a nice little touch. So if you have a two bedroom apartment, one of them will always be a tub. Right. One's right. a tub and the other's... And a shower. If you have a one-bedroom apartment, you'll have a tub. Because you okay. don't know who needs a tub for yeah. either some of the senior citizen or a child yeah, or child. whatever. So you have to have that. Here, come on in. This, to me, is a really nice surprise. I'm showing you all the secrets. Only you, Flavio. <laughs> Nobody else has Don't been tell anybody. Nobody guys, else has been Don't say anything to anybody. But we also did a custom ah, built-in. nice. Yeah. Because oh, you know, towels, linens, those are the things you don't think about. When you leave a home, where do you put it all in an apartment? Yeah. So we wanted to let our residents know that we thought about that. And, you know, custom little shelf to put your shampoo and, you know, you can put your foot up there, shave your legs. Yeah, that's great. Whatever you got to do, this goes up and down. So it's kind of a handheld and a stationary. Yeah. And this is a Kohler fixture and everything is just condo quality. <clears throat> now we should probably buy the residents maybe something to open this, like a handle or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to work for everybody. I could break a nail doing this. All right, let's see. Oh. So we've got uh, stackable so, units, right? So every unit's going to have? Yes, every unit has laundry in the facility, um, wow. in your apartment. Although we do have a new laundromat that's just opening up down the street. I guess I should have thought about that. Yeah, but if, I mean, if you're gonna, you know, why not do it in here? I but love yeah, it. so you and could these are full size. I'd recommend you do everything here, and then your big comforters and blankets and sheets. Yeah, maybe go that. to the laundromat. Yeah, it's absolutely. easier for that. Sure. Um, and then we did what's called a tankless hot water heater. Much more efficient. Doesn't waste as much water, and really pulls it when you need it. And they're super fast. We have these um, in our hair salons. So it heats he, up quickly. Oh yeah. Nice. Absolutely. And there will be handles, guys. Just so you know, there will be handles. <laughs> Let's put that on the list. Let's not forget that, Sarah. going to get a handle on the uh, situation. Yes. <laughs> this is great. So really nice light. Um, I think people will love the neutral colors and kind of the earth tones and uh, pretty backsplash. Um, 
and some of the, the, the finishes. So I want to show you a couple different layouts so people can see that there's different options. Let's go. It's not one size fits all. Sure. Yeah, so, I noticed I noticed that it's got like a different kind of handle on these doors. So tell me, what, what is this exactly? Yeah, so this is a real upgraded type of uh, safe and secure lock. And it's called latch technology. And basically, you don't need a key anymore. Everything is controlled by your phone. So oh, we're, really? Yeah. If you want to enter uh, your apartment, you just use your phone. And it uses Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all different technology. And it's extremely secure. It actually can take a photo of you every time you go in. So if you wanted to have a guest or a cleaning lady, um, you can send them a digital card. And it's just like a digital key, like uh, at a hotel. Yeah, at a hotel, and sure. And then that person can enter. And you can dictate when they enter, what days of the week. Um, so you can program, listen, my cleaning yeah. lady comes in on Tuesdays, Tuesdays at 2. Yeah. That's it. Thursdays at 4, she can't get she in. She can't get in. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's and, that, awesome. and, and, and it'll take a photo so you know it's her. So it's a really great, uh, great way. And it it'll take a photo you. and it'll send it to your phone. Yeah. And, and this way, if you don't, obviously you can use a key, but again, people want to make their lives a little easier. So sure, sure. Uh, if you forget your key, you just have your phone. And I, I think it can also do your smartwatch. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Very cool. So we're excited about that. Tell me about this room. Yeah, so this is a studio. Um, we actually got a lot of feedback a few years ago from people in town that had reached out and said, you know, I'd love to have a space that's more open, that's for artists, and um, well, well, just it's a gorgeous a view. studio I mean, space. Yeah. You would never think you had this kind of view. It's a beautiful tree line view. I mean, the trees really fill in nice, and, and the color is uh, gorgeous during the fall, and you get a lot of sunlight back here. Yeah, so, absolutely. Wow. wow. And I think these are going to be really popular. What a great cool studio. Space. And this is an island. So you, you have studio apartments, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms? Or just one and two? So there's no market rate three bedrooms. There's a couple three bedrooms that are part of the affordable housing settlement. Okay. But the market rate units are studios one and ones two. And two. Yeah. Got it. We actually have another type of studio that also, you haven't seen it yet, Sarah, has like a wall up that it's kind of like a hybrid divider yeah so it can kind of be a studio or one bedroom depending yeah, yeah. on how you view it yeah a little more privacy and i'll show you that i also wanted to point out on the floor this is called jip creek so you pour a little bit of concrete on top of the wood floor in the hallway uh -huh. and that helps with sound people walking through the hallway oh so, so, you're, so you're not getting a lot of the exactly as you notice i mean the building is not totally finished but it's been pretty quiet on the tour it's i i am stunned that we've not been able to hear the trucks and the yeah. cars going past on, nice. on Wagwa road nice high ceilings okay so i'm going to show you an apartment that i think is pretty much going to knock your socks off all right let's see okay, it come on in i'm ready to have my not socks knock <laughs> socks knocked off say that five times fast so this socks is a two bedroom it's a really special unit. Wow. Look at the ceilings Look here. Look at the ceilings. Yeah. Holy house. cow. That's wow. Right. This, Sarah's reminding me, this is not just a regular two bedroom. This is a two bedroom plus home office or home den, whatever you want to call it. All right, this is awesome. So this is one of the bedrooms. Yep, let's see. That is probably what I call the secondary bedroom. Yeah, like a guest bedroom, but ah, still look at that. This, is the, this has space. a double barn door. See, I don't think that many units even have these. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Nice closet. Great closet space for a guest bedroom. And look at the look at the windows. It's floor to ceiling, floor to ceiling. Incredible it's light. Beautiful. Great view. When that when all the and it's are also on. it's you know right now it's it's almost winter. A lot of the leaves are off. A lot of privacy. Oh, you won't you see anything. Those trees are incredibly thick. Um, yeah. That's great. So what's really neat oh, here I is this, this ceiling. elevated ceiling gives incredible light up here, right? Big open air feel. And then this is your bonus space here. So, you know, this cannot be called a bedroom legally. Right. Right? So we're calling it a den, an office. But if you um, want to throw a twin in there, just if you have listen, company coming over. I, I know, know you can't I say can't that. I can't say that, Flavio. I can say that. It could be extra storage. <laughs> storage. Maybe you could play the piano in here. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You got a closet. Play room. This is the world's smallest closet. I don't know how we got this in here. <laughs> so, but this is great space. Yeah, it's a little. This would be a this. great home office. Perfect. And then yep. we got the second bedroom here. Again, just look at the amount of light. Incredible light. And look at the, all the light that's coming yeah, through. There's no lights on here. <laughs> no, no and there's, there's no lights in the entire, yeah, in the entire no apartment. Power. This is gorgeous. Well, you save a lot of electricity with all this light coming in. Yeah. Can we take you down and show you some more units? All right, let's go take a look.
Okay, oh. I don't even know what we're calling this building, right? Wait, hold on, redo that. <laughs> this, this apartment? This 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 unit? Yeah, this unit. apartment, yeah. Oh. And maybe it's like a executive studio or junior one bedroom studio, so I don't want to confuse everybody. We haven't even decided what we're calling Let's it. Let's take a look. Come on in. It's a studio apartment that has a small open entrance to your bedroom area. Oh, okay. So if you wanted a studio feel where you can get a little more of the light, but yet you wanted a TV wall and you wanted a little bit more uh, privacy for oh, the bedroom. This is cool. Oh, wow, this yeah. is huge. Yeah, I didn't big. expect it to be this big. Yeah, it's huge. And incredible. I mean, look, we're fronting Wyandotte Road. You don't, you don't hear a thing. I know. Yeah. You guys know who you are. You're looking at this right now saying, why is he filming my house? Yeah, it's nice to say hi to the neighbors and thank them for yeah. their patience all throughout the years. But it's, I mean, it's a great view. It really is. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's too bad that some of the leaves have now come out. I should have had you here earlier in the oh, fall. It's gorgeous. Spring, spring, summer, and fall. You'll yeah. come back. Yeah, this looks great. Like, what a great uh, yeah, idea. Exactly. What a great idea. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, this. this yeah. is so much bigger than what a studio would be because it really yeah, I mean, feel like plenty of space for a dining table and a couch absolutely and plus having the island and you just... got a little closet too we didn't forget about that um, yeah little yeah it's a big this is like all of my my house was built in 1888 wow. this is the size of all of my closets put together yeah <laughs> so we still got you a nice big custom closet you yeah. have your washer dryer in the other closet and again we, we have to buy people um Door handles. Nice. This is awesome. I mean, when you have yeah, friends, when you have apartment. friends over, you know, especially when you have a studio. My daughter's in a studio, and you know, it's to break up the space, but to be able to have and entertain people, put some stools around here, have five or six people. You could have a, a nice couch in here with the TV. That's great, and you still have the privacy, yep. you know, of your bedroom. We're well excited now. Yep. So you've got tremendous closet space. Lots I'm of little surprises. Closets. Wow. Yeah. No is, way. This is probably the Flavio unit. I this think. is huge. So this is a two bedroom plus a bonus room plus a 14 or 16 foot ceiling. Yeah, look at Depending this. On another, one of those, another one of those cathedral ceilings. That's gorgeous. And then look how much light comes in from there too. The other thing Flavio that's really unique about this unit, you have a huge walkout private balcony. Oh, you do? And there's only three of those in the entire um, complex. And this is the one with the highest floor. So you could literally come out here. And just hang and out. sit down, take a look. Again, wow. it's, it's quiet as can be in here. You know, you're right on my little road. And beautiful view of our shopping center down there, the trees, other homes in the area. The pool. In the, in the fall, a couple months ago, I mean, this was just gorgeous, the color. And listen, guys, you see this truck passing, right? No noise. No, no, do you guys have like really these insulated yeah, windows? windows yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. But I love this space. Wow. I mean, this is like, if you're an entertainer, this is like a real open floor plan. Well, and again, I love, you know, I love, I'm a big, I, I like to cook. Like, yeah. So to be able to cook, and because everybody hangs out in the kitchen anyway. Yes. Any Anytime you go anywhere, someone's cooking, you're always hanging out in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So to be able to have it so open like this, where you could put stools around the island, yep. you're cooking over there, people are hanging out. You got the game on. All right, let's take a look at the bedrooms. This is a pretty big bedroom. You got a really great walk-in closet. I mean, look wow. at this. Does your wife have a shoe collection? Because that's that would be a killer right there. right there. Yeah, right now it's right just along the floor. <laughs> and big, big upgraded bathroom. Oh yeah, look at that! Wow. Yeah, we're excited about this one. So this is one of the bedrooms, and then let's take a look at the other one. And then you said it's like a bedroom and a two, two. Oh yeah, that's the bonus room. So that oh, could it's be a, bonus. It's a whole little office. Could be a closet for you. Could be a if office. this would be where I would do the Towncast episodes, Perfect. I would set it up right here, and I do the Towncast episodes overlooking the town. How perfect is that? Right? You know, we should have built, in retrospect, we should have built a podcast studio in here. Yeah. I have my own podcast too. There, and, there you uh, go. It would have made a lot more sense to have a studio here. So Take one of those Zoom rooms. You have to do it. <laughs> Make the podcast room. So you have another bedroom here. This and, is, then, and I love that all the bedrooms have these closets. This is kind of cool. It's kind of like a dressing room. It's like a closet, custom closet in between your bedroom and your bathroom. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's great. So it's almost like a semi-private bathroom if you need it. 
Yeah. That's beautiful. It's a big space. Too. A lot of different layouts, a lot of different options. Yeah. So if people if people are interested, we've had a chance to see all of the different designs. I like the fridge. Oh, this is the fridge. Yeah, sorry. Remember the other unit didn't have it? Yeah, yeah. But everyone gets a Samsung French door fridge. I like the freezer on the bottom. It opens here. Yes. Nice. Sorry, you're asking. So we've had a chance to see all the different styles, the studios, the expanded studios, one bedroom, two bedroom, the, the business suites. Yeah. Okay. If, if people are interested, how can they, I know the waiting list is huge, Yeah. but if people are interested, how do they get a hold of you? How do they get their name on the waiting list? What do they do? So the best thing would to do would be go to hedges at Hawthorne.com, okay. right? And put your information into the waiting list and say what type of unit you want. And then there's a little area under the notes section, say, heard you on Flavio's Towncast. Towncast, there you go. Because I want to make sure that, you know, your listeners are up to date and get all the information that they can get. Sure. And we appreciate their support. So just let us know that you heard the interview on the Towncast. And I think in the next, you know, six weeks, five weeks, six weeks, we're going to start really calling people and setting up appointments for probably February. Like models, you have yeah, the models exactly. ready to go. Yeah, exactly. We're going to have a couple model units. Um, but you know, it doesn't make sense to bring people in in January no, if they're no. not moving in until March. Exactly. You know, when you need to rent an apartment, it's probably 30 days, 45 days. Yeah. So again, you're really the only person that's been in here from the public to be able to see the facility like this. Well, now we've all been in and here. And now that you're sharing it with, with your residents. Sarah too, and, Sarah's been in here. Well, By the way, I just want to say, great job on the amenities. I mean, it's you. it's it's little things. For me, For me, it's little things like some of the things that we talked about that really make the place. Because when you, when you inv especially when you invite people over, you know, and you show them the place. You like, want to be wow, proud of it. Yeah, you want to be proud of it. And, I, and I, think, I think you guys have added so many great little touches to all of these spaces. Uh, and this is just a beautiful apartment. Wow, I'm gonna take a look. All right, so here we are, we're at the roof. Listen, I know I've made you take the stairs a lot today, Bob, <laughs> but I promise we're gonna have an elevator for our residents. So come on out, let's see what it looks like. All right, let's take a look. Check out this view, huh? Isn't it beautiful up here? Oh, and I love that, you know, the wall is high enough where you're not getting the traffic. Yep. You're just getting the view. So that'll be all plants. Obviously, there's a lot more work to do here. I have renderings I can show you. Yes, and there will be a, a rail there, so you can't just this walk is, off it. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be done. Absolutely. So who's going to have access to the up here? The residents. Really? Yeah, residents. There's a whole coming up the elevator right out here. There'll be a TV area, a little bar area with a pergola. Um, probably play some games up here, maybe some cornhole, a lot of seating, uh, dining. little dining area. Nice. It's a nice area. I mean, look, a day like today, you're probably not up here. It's freezing cold to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know. I know, he's now drinking iced coffee. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, the summertime, it's going to be great. And you know what I'm really excited about? Hawthorne Day. I can't wait for the residents of the Hedges to come up here on yes. Hawthorne Day. And watch, watch the fireworks, fireworks from, from right, right here. here. Guys, so you know, the pool, the tennis course, everything's right over there. If you haven't gotten your Christmas trees, you can get it at the fire department right there in the parking lot. But to be able to watch the Hawthorne Day fireworks up here, and you guys were part of one of the sponsors, weren't we were. you? Yeah, we're very, we, we love supporting the community when we can, and uh, we were thrilled to help this year with the fireworks. And, and I thank uh, you for that because yeah, I course. feel like Hawthorne fireworks are some of the best in People the area. People love them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was a couple minutes. We have it on video. It I know. It's it was, awesome. it was awesome. All right, let's well, head on down. It's getting cold up here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is tremendous. So we'll, we'll go down and we'll wrap it up. All right, so we're back in the office. And I got to tell you, first of all, thank you so much. You're welcome. For giving us a tour. Uh, I know oftentimes when, you know, apartments, office, when it's not ready, you don't want to show it. Yep. But I know a lot of people in town, a lot of people in the surrounding towns have been interested. So I really do appreciate you thank giving you. us a tour. Sarah, again, shout out to you uh -huh. and your partner for doing Great an job. amazing job here. But I did, I did want to ask you real quick. So sure. you've got, you've got Cube Smart. Yep. That's self-storage. Uh, self storage. And, and I'm glad that we have, an, you know, we have self storage on the far side of Hawthorne. Yep. I'm glad we have one on this side. Absolutely. Storage is always an issue. What's their What's their plan? Do you, do you know yeah, when they're going to open absolutely. up? Absolutely. So the building's been finished for a couple months. We're in the process of getting permanent power. Um, we're kind of converting now from temporary power to permanent power, and looking to bring on the CubeSmart management team. So CubeSmart's a big billion dollar public company. It's like a hotel, Marriott or Hilton. They'll be managing the facility for us. Um, so we expect them to start moving in 
uh, probably mid-January and hopefully opening by February 1st. Okay. And if you think about it, when you're downsizing from a home and you're going to an apartment, the number one thing you're gonna need is storage. Yeah. So obviously we've tried to build a lot of custom closets and try to give you a lot of storage in, at your Hedges residence, but having the storage facility with CubeSmart on site makes a ton of sense. And if you're someone that likes snowbirds, let's say you go to Florida for part of the year or you have a child in college and you have an extra car or bikes or golf, they do have garages that you can rent as well. Yeah, I love that. that. On the ground floor. Yeah, if you've got if you've got boats, yeah. you've got skidoos or whatever it is. Sure. You just pull them in the in the ground floor Absolutely. storage. Absolutely. So we're excited about that building. Um, it's a great, great management team over there at Keep Smart, and um, you know you'll you'll be able to reach out to them directly through their KeepSmart.com and their one eight hundred number. You won't go through our family. It's being professionally managed by them. Right. So once once we get a little closer, yep. we'll see some of the we things. Share some and we'll, information. We'll, yeah, we'll help put some of that info Absolutely. out. And tell us about Planet Fitness. Yeah, so we're super excited. Planet Fitness looks to be opening sometime next week. Um, I don't, you know, there's no exact date. It could be the week after. So like, like could be middle of December. Yeah, certainly by the middle of December. Because by the time this comes out, it might be. I saw a lot of their promotions, and guys, if you haven't seen their promotions. Go on Planet Fitness. They're doing promotions for... I think it's the, 10 bucks a month. The Hawthorne location. Yeah. And, and you know, keep in mind, if you do travel like I do, you can use the Planet Fitnesses across the uh, country. There's like that 2,000 of them, I think, now. Which is incredible. awesome. You yeah. know, so, you know, you just scan the barcode and you walk on in. So This Planet Fitness is upgraded. This is called the Black Card Spa. And so they have a special area for hydro massage, tanning, chair massage, and then you can also visit other clubs. And I'm telling you, when you go in there, you're gonna think this is a hundred dollar country club type gym. The yeah. bathrooms, the lockers are gorgeous. I'm, I was shocked. Yeah, and it's exciting. Uh, and it's still only ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. So, so guys, I encourage you guys to go on Planet Fitness's website. Check it out. Uh, and then you can have a little bit of retail space too. Yeah, there's two more spaces that we're working on. Um, I don't have any information yet to tell you who that would be, but we're hoping it's gonna be something in the health and wellness food area maybe some juice or acai bowls or coffee, yeah. grab and go bagels to go to the train. Um, so yeah, we started talking to folks now. And if you're interested, um, you know, go to the Hedges at Hawthorne site, put your information in, in the notes, say, hey, I'd like to move my business there too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, Garrett, I can't thank you enough. You my and pleasure. the Bedroom family, yeah, not pleasure. only for this, for what you've done here, but also for how you support your community. Thank you. For what you've done in Hawthorne, what you do in Glen Rock. I personally, I appreciate that. Thank and, you. And that's, that's what the Towncast is all about, and uh, and I love that you guys aren't just in this for the buck. I mean, you really do stand behind what you guys do. You know, stand behind the community, and do what you can to uh, to help to help the the town out. So I appreciate that. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate. It. And I told you a year ago we'd bring you back. It took a little. This is it. it I know. Of, this is it. Supply chain. I mean, some of these things that you hear about are real. It yeah. Took, it took longer to get electrical parts. It absolutely did. Um, but well, I remember when we first met. When we first met, there was such a lumber shortage. Yes, there was. And you guys, and you guys we had, had an ample supply. Wood. But then all of a sudden, everything else is, is yeah. So, and it's still happening. Yeah, I mean, we're it's still working happening. through it every day. But we have a great team here, and uh, you know, you have to be able to pivot and uh, be what I call a willow tree, and uh, adapt and keep moving forward. And you know, I think really by the end of this month, you will see a tremendous change again. Um, and after the change of the new year. Uh, it'll really wrap up quickly and before you know it you'll see advertisements and people will start moving in and, nice. be, and be making their home here at the hedges that's cool so we thank you for that opportunity well any questions any comments make sure you go to the hedges at hawthorne at hawthorne.com and uh if you're interested get on the waiting list if you have questions garrett you know the email goes right to garrett you know, somebody so. asked somebody <laughs> asked i want to say will there be hedges of course there's going to be hedges. <laughs> what a silly question yes there'll be hedges i promise the hedges are coming so that that's there's a question that he just answered for okay. the many of you that have been asking so good uh again garrett thank right, you so get much back to work Flavio. i really appreciate it all right and sarah thank you thank you and uh, and your partner for doing a great job here we'll see you guys in a couple of months yeah Come all right back. listen this is, this is what it's gonna look like. Get ready to hang out and get ready to have some fun. The Hedges of Hawthorne. All right, be well, everybody.